Hey guys, Flair here. Today I'll be talking about the FFLOX website which is used as a means to improve gameplay in Final Fantasy XIV. Before this, I have a disclaimer to make. Please do not use this website as a means to harass other players as it is against TOS. However, Square Enix does not strictly enforce this rule as long as you are not talking about it openly in game or harassing other players. I apologize for the random clicks that you may hear, I am doing this as a live video. Either way, let's get right into it. What is FFLOX first of all? FFLOX is a third party website made by Kira in order for players to log their runs, their raids or anything they are doing in the game, whether it be striking dummies or raids itself. It is also used as a means for speed kills, as a means for recruitment purposes and also as a means for those who want to compete for rankings in FFLOX. As you can see here, there's different uh, speedrun events hosted by Phase Temperance Discords which you can join. Either way, let's get right into the basics of FFLOX. When you go to the FFLOX website, you will be brought to this default homepage. Clicking on the top left will bring you a list of characters depending on what you type. I will be using my own character to show you guys the basic aspects of this website. Upon finding your character, you will be brought to a page that looks similar to this. To the top left you can find your character name and below it listed in blue your FC name. Below this you can find the expansion tab and if you click on it you can find the different available expansions and if you were to find a different log on the different expansions you find them right here. To the right you can find all the listed current available raids in the current expansion. It will show the latest current raid available for instance it's Eden's Promise on Shadowbringers expansion. Below it you can find the damage tab. If you were to look at valuable information such as healing, healers combined damage, tanks combined damage for your group, you can find them right here. By default, it will always be on damage. If you were to look at specific rates only, you can click on them on the all bosses tab and then go to one of the available rates. To the right of it is the all jobs tab. Here, you can find the jobs that you have logged in as here and then the ones that are not lighted up are the ones that you have not logged in as. For example, if you were to find a specific job, here for instance I will be looking at my monk loggers only and I click on it, it shows only my monk logs. If I were to go to my ninja logs only, it will show only my ninja logs. By default, it will always be on all jobs. To the right of it, you can find the highest difficulty tab. By default, it will always be on highest difficulty. And it will usually show savage. However, if you have not done any savage, it will show normal written right here. Below this, you can find the standard and non-standard tabs. These refer to the different party composition. This means that for instance, if you were to log in as a standard composition, that is 2 tanks, 2 healers and 4 DPSs, it will be logged on the standard tab. And if you were to log in as a different composition, for example, 1 tank, 2 healers and 5 DPSs, it will be logged on the non-standard tab. Next to it, you can find the different partitions. These were made because of different changes in jobs on different patches. By default it will show the all tab which shows the best performance across the entire expansion. However if you were to look at a specific uh, patch only, for example here I will be clicking on 5.4 and it will show only my 5.4 logs and if I were to look at my 5.5 logs it will show right here. In your other echo ones for now it refers to the buff that makes you stronger and makes the raid easier. Usually we do not look at the echo tab. Ray DPS and 
ADPS. These refer to the matrix that FFLOX uses, the main two matrix. Here you can find all the ADPS. And here, if I click on ADPS, it will show all my ADPS. I will be talking in more in depth about this later in the video. Next is the best performance average. Here it will show what you have performed best as. The median perfect average is basically how consistent you are in a raid. The higher it is, the better it is and it will help you in for recruitment purposes. The all star points is basically an amount of points listed at 120. 120 points means the top one ranked player on FFLOGS and it decreases as per the amount of bosses that are available and how far you are away from the rank one. So for example 24,374.1 currently would be rank 264 and a higher number would be like let's say for example if it were 26,000 I will be showing you guys how to find that later on it will be 120 but for rank 264 it is 117.18 the closer you are to 120 the better it is here itself you can find all the different rates available the best performance hist which you have performed and as the highest rate DPS available. If you were to click on ADPS, for example, it will show ADPS instead that you have gotten. The kills is basically the amount of kills that you have done. Note here, since it is on all jobs tab, it will list all the different uh, jobs. If you were to only look at Samurai, for example, it will list only my Samurai logs here, which is log right here. Next is basically the speed that you have done them on, usually looked at for speed kills. To the right of it is a median, basically how consistently you have performed as in the specific raids and the higher it is, the better it will be for your recruitment purposes and you as a player in general. Here on the All Expansions tab, you can find the different rankings that you have achieved on a specific raid kick. Please note that these only matter if you want to get competitive on FFLOGS. This does not necessarily show player skill as world pro players and early week 1 players do not really care about getting competitive on FFLOGS. Hence, this does not show player skill. Player skill is shown how fast you prog and how you are hitting buffs etc which I'm going to be talking about much later on. Here you can see that on the top left is the Eden's Promise Rate K ranking and then to the right of it is Eden's Verse and Eden's Gate and to the right of it is the trials available in the expansions. For example here you can find the information for the trials done right here. And if you were to look at the second ones, you can find the information right there. If you click on the top left here, you will see a tab pop up providing you with much more valuable information available. So here, if I click on Cloud of Darkness statistics, you can see this information will pop up showing up how many jobs are performing at how much DPS. So for example, at 99 percentile, you can see Black Mage is doing this amount of max DPS. But if you look at 75 percentile, you can see that Samurais are doing much more. So like this, you can find different uh, amounts of DPS that uh, all classes are doing to be able to get an idea of which DPS uh, is at the top currently. However, keep in mind all DPS can clear content. They are all good in their own ways. 
Now if I were to click on the tab again and go to the rankings, you can check here for example Cloud of Darkness speed rankings for 5.5, there is a list of top players and if you want to click on one of them, for example if I'm going to be clicking on the top one, you can see here the top uh, speed kill players are listed here. If you want to look at what they are doing, what their rotation is, you can look it up right here. You can check for 5.4 as well and here you can find much more of them. If you were to look at specific classes, for example damage and then go for example at like samurai, you can check which samurai on Cloud of Darkness is doing the top DPS and what rotation he is using. Then you can use that as a guideline to improve, however do not always follow the top players especially for samurai. I will just add it here, there is a lot more factors involved which I don't find it necessary to include in this video, I may include it on another improving video on optimization and stuff. Now let's take a look at the different informations provided to us when we click on one of the specific raids. For example here if I click on Cloud of Darkness, I am provided with all this information. Historical percentage. This basically means the logs that has been listed permanently at a specific time, for example here on January 30, 2021, sorry. Basically the amount of raid DPS I had gotten here has listed me as 99 at that time. However, people who are still optimizing today have gotten their rotations even better, would have gotten even better amount of raid DPS. Hence, if they were to get this amount of raid DPS, it would only be a 97 in today's percentage. The second tab, pulses, is basically the amount of pulses uploaded at a given time. Patch is basically what patch it had been uploaded on. Duration is basically looked on during speed kills. Date is basically the date it had been logged on. And kill width is basically your static. So if you have a static group of specific members, it will be listed here. This is my static which I had been leading in back then in January. So it has been listed as category issues right here. Either way, let's move on to DPS, RAID DPS and ADPS. DPS is basically the total amount of DPS that you have done in the RAID. This includes all the buff given to you during the RAID. This is also called PDPS for some people, that is the personal DPS. RAID DPS RAID DPS is basically the RAID contributing DPS. It measures the amount of DPS that you have actually contributed to the RAID despite having higher numbers on your personal DPS. Basically, if you were to play a selfish class like Samurai, you would always have way lower RAID DPS than personal DPS. The reason for this is because Samurai provides no utility to the group. Hence, its utility is measured by taking away the amount of DPS that uh, has been provided to the Samurai by the specific uh, classes, for example a dancer, an astrologian, etc. and how much they have done actually in the raid. Hence, raid DPS is often looked at. Basically, to simplify things, raid DPS is basically subtracting the amount of DPS given to you and adding up the DPS that you have given to the team to it. Let's take a look at ADPS. ADPS on the other hand basically shows the amount uh, of DPS that you have provided to the raid on party raid wide buffs. This basically excludes single party buffs. For example, Astrologian's Divinations counts in ADPS, but Astrologian's cards do not count as in ADPS. Dancer's Technical Finish counts in ADPS, but Dancer's Development does not count as the ADPS. Now let's take a look at the different informations provided to us when we click on one of these logs. 
For example here, you can see there is a lot of new information provided to us and hence it can get very overwhelming. Hence I will not go into too much details right here but will show you guys the main things that you can get right there. If you click on the boss's name, you can check the different encounters right here. And if you click on the All Faces tab, you can check the different faces and the different amount of damage given, taken, whatever you're looking for in specific phases if the boss has different phases. The boss percentage does not matter much here as it only shows the specific boss over a certain amount of weeks. The DPS and Array DPS tab here basically shows the amount of DPS given and taken from you. So here for instance, you can see how much DPS I have given to the Dancer, to the Dragoon, to the Astrologian, etc. Also valuable information can be damage taken and here you can see which player got a specific amount of damage from what skill from the boss and how much it hit the player. Hence, it can be used to properly manage your cooldowns, your defensive cooldowns, your healing toolkits, etc. On the healing tab, you can find the different amounts of healings done by specific players. Buffs tab basically shows the amount of buffs a player used and uh, how active it was, which player it basically hit, the uptime of it, etc. The devs tab basically shows which player died a specific time and what killed the player and how much it hit them for. Cost, which is very looked upon for recruitment, basically shows how active you are during a raid. The more active you are, the higher the CPM, the better it is. You can check other things like debuffs uh, that were applied to you during uh, the phases, etc. Another thing here, if you were to look at only specific informations during a certain period of time, for example over a period of 1 minute, I can click here and drag it right here and it will show me the information only during that 1 minute. Other things that you can do is compare the log to other logs to see what they have done different, how many calls they have different, etc. You can check the rankings here. You can check the historical rankings here, the boss rankings here, etc. Other things is replay. You can replay the mechanic itself which FFLOX provide. Very valuable when you're comparing and doing early progs, things like this. Hence why FFLOX is really important and this is where most players will look at when doing the recruitment. And there is also Another thing called XIV analysis which I'm going to be talking about soon which is used for recruitment together with uh, FFLOX and also is used for improvement. Now let's take a look at the XIV analysis website. For example here if I copy paste the FFLOG link of the previous log and I paste it on the XIV analysis page it will open up all of my members during that raid. For instance here, if I were to click on myself, it will show everything that I need to do optimally on the specific class. For instance here, it's Samurai. For each different class, it will show differently, but for Samurai, it will show what the Samurai has to do to play optimally. For instance here, I kept my meditation stacks high, I use all my cooldowns, I use my Higan banner and kept it at high uptime. These are the things which is basically going to make you a top player and hence if you do things wrong it will basically show what you have done wrong and here it will basically show more errors and how you can improve here it shows your GCD the core skill Higan mana for Samurai for example I'm not going too much into details right here but how much I can reduce these clippings and increase my DPS things like my make Yoshi swim windows to increase my DPS which for instance here I will just mention it Samurai usually minimizes Yukikaze usage so which I did and hence it got me more DPS instead of a Samurai who would have done a lot of Yukikaze windows here it shows my Hagakure windows my Kenki windows my meditation timeline things like this and more importantly the timeline of the rotation this is very 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 important here it would basically show which skills have been hitting 
which buffs at what time of the fight. And if you have not been doing your rotation correctly, what you have been doing wrong, and specifically here is what people will look on when they are doing specific recruitments, especially during speed kills, world progging, or anything high level. Because here itself, for example here, if I were to not hit my Higan banner during buffs, it would have been before and hence players who wanted something like speed kills would not have chosen me. But since my Higan mana is during buff windows, it clipped there and hence it makes me a better player. This is how you self improve and also how other players look at your log for improvement. I will keep this video very short but that's basically mostly what you need to know about FF logs and XIV analysis. Feel free to go much further into details in your research. Feel free to join the balance discord, the FFLOX discord to ask further into that and feel free to ask me in the comments below. I will gladly answer any questions that you have gotten. Thank you guys for watching and see you guys later on.